Hey guys, so I want to do a continuation of the auction or the, the one that I won on auction.com. Um, I had to speak with my partner and we're going to proceed and form an LLC. So this property is in Indiana. I use um, chat GPT to come up with a name. And I, we ended it up with a Mount Vernon Stay LLC. That's what ChatGPT uh, came up with. I literally told, gave it a bunch of information. They gave me about 30 names. And then when I went back onto the Indiana Secretary of State website, I start a new business. I put it in. Uh, one of the names was taken. And then so I put in a second name and it wasn't taken. And to form an LLC in Indiana costs um, with taxes, it was $95. And then after tax, it was $97. So it's pretty cheap. And I'm probably going to get the articles of organization tomorrow. And so I created a spreadsheet. I put in information. Maybe in another video, I'll go over how to do form an LLC but um, so now I'm back over here let me see if I can make it bigger Anyways. okay so I had to call auction.com because I was confused and before I even um, put in this information, just know that they give you like less than 24 hours to do this contract. And again, we haven't signed a contract. We're just putting in information so that they can generate, auto generate a contract. And so the way it's working is um, I already filled it out and I went back. So hopefully I don't have to refill this twice, but contact information, I put myself, I put my address, and if you, it says here, purchase profiles let you uh, let you reuse information you've given us in previous contracts for this contract. You can use a purchase profile. Make sure you still review your contract. Okay. I have this is the contact information. Okay, but that's not what's going to go on the contract. I am buying it. Who's taking title for this property? It's in an entity. Okay, so next step. I came up with this name. I put it in. It's because I'm going to buy and hold. I have to, I put, I'm going to form in Indiana. But just know if you do not buy this straight up cash, you will be required to file an, the entity in the state that you're buying in. But if you buy it in cash, then just use your Wyoming LLC to buy it. So um, just keep that in mind. So you don't have to form that LLC twice. Okay. So that was um, my dilemma earlier that I did was I filled it out. and um, Okay. Indiana. I just read this book by... Clint Coons, and he detailed very well that um, the usually I do manage member, okay? Um, I swear this is all trial and error, but you have a parent company. This is Mount Vernon, but it's going to be owned by two Wyoming LLCs that are the holding company. So you guys get to see everything, but this is my holding company up here. I own it with my husband. We're 50-50. I have another partner. I help him create his Wyoming LLC. He owns that one with his son, so they have 50-50. I got confused here, and I had to call customer service because they want you to put all the members in, okay? But so here's the interest party. 
then you have to put in the individuals. But I will be the one who signs for all the documentation. So even though you put in the individual, like my husband is just along for the ride, we're married, but he doesn't take part in what I'm doing. And when you put in his name, there's a box that you can check that says they're not going to be signing anything. Okay. So I did that. This, uh, I did that for every one of my other partners. So the only person who's going to sign on this contract is me. They have my email and I'm the only signer on this contract. Okay. So that make it confusing. And the customer service gal was telling me that everybody gets stuck at the 20% mark. And this is where they get stuck at putting this in. So um, I finished that because all that has to add up to 100%, by the way. I'm not dealing with any agent, and because I'm not licensed there, I'm not going to say I'm a real estate agent licensed. I'm using a hard money loan. Then they ask you for the name of your lender because they're going to send an email to that person that is financing the deal. That This is going to go in on the contract, okay? I want title insurance. I will be using the seller's escrow company. I am purchasing this as an investment. I'm not a first time home buyer. Uh, I'm not a licensed agent in the state of Indiana. Uh, either, okay. Eh, never mind. I'm going to hit confirm. I'm going to name this the property address. Okay, I'm going to submit. And this was what is required um, right away. Okay, so all this does is you're checking out. So then now they're going to issue you um, the contract for you to sign. You know, I thought they were going to require me to upload um, the loan pre-approval, but I didn't need it. I want to show you something else. This is my spreadsheet, and I'm telling you, you need to stay organized. It's just really, after a while, it becomes um, very confusing. I created a tab that has all my LLCs, the date form, EIN. I use a registered agent. I do not use my address. Um, you know, bank statement, account, who I work with, whatever. It's all here so that I can, I, I'm now on one, two, three, that's seven LLCs, I, I, you know, and I got to do the BOI report too. So I just wanted to share that. Um, and then I created another, I have another spreadsheet that I got for the bookkeeping. And right now the first thing that I put on here, the money that I spend on this property is the formation of the LLC. I, I logged it. So any dollar amount that goes into this property, I will have this here. And then this other um, spreadsheet is when I own the property, this will help for you to give to the bookkeeper and then when they go to do your taxes. I actually got the spreadsheet from a bookkeeper, has advertising, rental income. Um, it just breaks it down every column. So every time I get a new property, I go and I do this so that um, it just, you know, manageable. And I guess I need to talk about loss and all that for. So that's kind of where we're at. I'll get a contract very soon. It says one to two days. Um, so this is exciting.